husband and wife in Paris kept a very dark secret. Yeah, detectives say their 13 kids were shackled and tortured. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live near the home on Muir Woods Road with the details. Jasmine. Yes, yeah, Sharon, you look at this house and it doesn't stand out from any of the others on this block here in Paris in Riverside County. But look, a lot of cars parked in the driveway. You see the big van most likely to carry all of those 13 kids because what investigators say was happening inside was just unimaginable. Now the parents accused of torture and child endangerment. Take a look at some posts on social media. You have pictures here showing this big happy family. Uh, the 13 kids with their parents in Vegas where they renewed their vows. Another picture of them on vacation dressed in matching outfits. But investigators say on Sunday they found several of David and Louise Turpin's children starving, shackled to beds with chains and padlocks in dark and foul smelling conditions. It's all because a 17 year old girl escaped with a cell phone from this home and called 911, telling investigators her 12 brothers and sisters were being held captive. The children were reportedly so malnourished and dirty, it was hard to tell that seven of them were adults, ranging in age from 18 to 29, the youngest just two years old. They were fed and taken to local hospitals. Now, neighbors here are trying to figure out how do they miss the signs. We also spoke to the Elvis impersonator who officiated the Turpin's vow renewals. Family kept growing. So I figured, you know, a couple more years I'd see them again, and uh, and then I hear the news, and I, it's it's just hard to it's hard to believe that they didn't appear to be not healthy. Uh, the only way I could tell the difference in their age was from their height, because the the older girls they looked they looked young, uh, the boys looked all the same. According to the California Department of Education, the home where they lived was registered as a non-religious private school called Sandcastle Day School with six students enrolled this year. It shows David Turpin, the dad, listed as the principal and also that one student graduated in 2016. And coming up later this morning at 10 o'clock, we're going to hear from the Sheriff's Department in a press conference about uh, the horrors that they say was happening inside of this house. More on the investigation. We're going to have that at CBSLA.com. Also uh, on our Facebook page. Meantime, you have the Turpins each being held on $9 million bail.